today I'm going to show you how to implement a shared IAD banner across several view controllers. So I've just got this example app set up here and you can download that below in the video description if you want to follow along. I'm using Xcode 5 and deploying for iOS 7.0. So basically this app asks you what do you like. If you click on dogs it's going to show you a picture of this cute little dog here and if you click on cats you're going to get a picture of this cheeky cat poking its tongue out now the reason to implement a shared ad banner is on this ios developer library article and basically when loading an iad the longest part is when it is instantiated and basically that's when it is retrieving an IAD from the IAD server. So a lot of tutorials don't show you how to actually implement it being shared. They only show you how to implement it per view controller. This makes it a pain because if you want to use an IAD banner on several view controllers, implementing them individually is not ideal. And I'm just going to show you the difference between a shared banner and one that's not shared. So the first example here is an IAD banner that is not shared. So we've got our main screen here asking what do you like and let's just say we've got an IAD banner up here in the top of the screen. When that IAD banner loads it sends an IAD request to the IAD server asking it hey I need an ad to display then the IAD server will send back an ad back to your app to display it up here. Now let's just say you like dogs. You click on dogs, it will show up the dogs view controller. When this loads up with an IAD, it's got to load up a whole new ad. So it sends another IAD request to the IAD server and that will send back an advertisement to your view controller to display. Now when we go back, it will go back to the home screen and that also has that IAD up the top and that will send back another IAD request to the server. Now when you have an app that has a shared IAD banner like here, when you load up the home screen it will have the IAD up the top and that will send the IAD request off to the IAD server and that will send back an ad to display in your app. Now when you click on dogs, it will show up the dogs view controller with the IAD, but there's actually no request to the server. Because you've already sent an IAD request to the server, it's just going to carry over that IAD from the verse view controller to the second and display that same ad. So by having it shared, you don't need to go back to the IAD server every time to reload that ad. Now when you go back to the home screen, over here you've got the IAD banner here and that also doesn't need to send a request to the IAD server to get the ad. So basically the only time we'll ever need to go back to the IAD server is probably every 30 seconds or so when it needs a new ad to display it will go back and ask for a new ad to display. Okay, so to set up the shared ad banner in our app, what we need to do first of all is just import the iAd framework into our app as follows. So just go to the project, select your target, under linked framework and libraries just click on the add button, just do a search for iAd and go add. Now from here we're going to set up the ad banner in our app delegate header file. So in here we just need to go import, do import, we just need to do iAd slash iAd dot h. And now from here we're just going to do a property, which is strong non-atomic. It's going to be a add banner view. I'm going to call it UI I add. 
So that's going to be our app banner view for the app. Now from here we just go into our app delegate methods file. And under application did finish launching with options. What we need to do, we need to add underscore UI I add equals add banner view view allocate init and this basically just initializes our I add in our application and there we go so that's set up in the app delegate so from here we're going to go to our view controller header and method files and this view controller is just basically the what do you like do you like dogs or do you like cats and we're going to add an i add banner up here and it's going to be a reference in our app delegate file so under our view controller dot h we just need to go import go i add slash iad.h and then we create a property in here also strong non-atomic and call add banner view ui iad we also need to make this an add banner view delegate we have view controller Now in the viewcontroller.m file for our methods, this is where we're going to have the bulk of our code and this is the code that's going to actually display the ad. So we just need to import our app delegate header file. And we also need to create a method so we can reference some of the code in our app delegate that we need for the UI ad. So just go app delegate gonna call it app delegate all in lowercase go return app delegate UI application shared application delegate Now we're just going to do the method to actually show the ad when our view controller loads. So we just do void view will appear. We do UI I add equals self app delegate UI I add. UI I add dot delegate equals self. Now we're going to do the code to actually show the I add. So UI I add set frame g rect make. And this is basically going to create a new iad and show it at the top of our screen. Do self dot view add sub view. We're going to add our UI iad view here now. So this here is basically when your view controller loads, it gets a UI iad from the app delegate. And from there, it's going to show it at the top of our app. Now, what we also need to do, we also need a method to get rid of the ad when we're not on this view control. So when we navigate to say dogs or cats. So we do void. You will disappear. We do UI add. Delegate equals nil UI I add dot nil and 
then we remove it from our view UI I had remove from super view. So basically when we go to another view control, it's going to remove that ad from the view, but we'll still have whatever the ad's contents were in our app delegate files, which we can call later on from different view controllers we navigate to. Now what we also need to do is do void banner view did load ad. Basically, you need this and also a void banner view banner view did fail to receive ad. That's the one. So basically, when you can get ads from the ad network, it will run this code, and we can set our ad to show. But when we say we don't have internet connection, it's not going to be able to get any ads, which will run this code. And what we want to do, we just want to hide it from the user to provide a good user experience. And also, I believe if you don't include this, Apple will re actually reject your app if you don't have it in there. So if you can't get any ads displaying, it's, it's best to hide it instead of just having a white bar on your app. So in our banner view, did load app we're just going to do this code here Go UI view begin begin animations nil context nil UI view set animation duration one and UI I add set alpha to one and then we need to commit the animations to our view so the UI view commit animations so basically if our ads are available that's just going to do a nice animation to show our ad banner and if we don't have the ads available we're just going to do the same code but we're going to set our alpha to zero which will hide the ads so if you don't have an internet connection it's just going to run this and hide the ads on us so basically if we run our app now we should see an ad banner view up the top of our app, which we don't actually see. So let me see what's going on. So we'll just put in some debugging code here. So an NS log ads loaded, and if we can't load the ads, we'll just do an NS log ads not loaded so just run that and we'll see what's happening with this sometimes in the simulator it doesn't actually load the ads first time so as you saw now it's actually loaded our ad up here in a little banner on our main view controller go to dogs we haven't put our ad there yet and we can go to cats here we can go back and our ads gonna be the same it's still gonna be there Okay, so now that we've added our ad to the main view controller, we're also going to add the ad banner both to the dog and cat view controller, and that's going to be the same code pretty much, and we'll be calling that ad from the ad delegate. So we'll start off with the dog, and we're just going to copy this code in from our view controller header just to the dog header. Let's get that ad up and running. We'll make that view controller have the ad banner view delegate. 
and also have the property of an add banner view UI add. Then since we want the add up the top, everything will be exactly the same. Yeah. Let's copy this all over. Remembering to import the app delegate header file. Okay, now that we've done a dog, we'll just copy that for the cat as well. It's a header file done and we'll just copy those same methods in for to show the IAD from the app delegate. Alright, so now when we run our application what should happen is if, if the ads load correctly, we'll see the ad up here. Go to dogs. That will be the same ad coming from app delegate. If we go back, go we like cats. That's the same ad. So now we've got three ads, one in each view controller, but they're all being loaded from that app delegate file. So that's a shared instance of that one single iAd banner. And if you like, you can just add, if you need to add view controllers, you just expand that code into any view controllers you need to add. So I hope this helps when you're adding the iAd banners to your app. I have also included a download link below to this completed Xcode project in case you want to download it and have a play around with it. Um, I've also got an app in the App Store now called Oracle for Dota 2 which is, uses the same methods and has actual live ads in the app working because when you're testing it in the simulator the ads are just from Apple just verifying that iAd's working you only actually get live ads once you've submitted it to the App Store and it's been approved and it's up on there.